9.38 a.m. Monday, August 28th, 2023. Is this blurry? I can't tell. Um, so, I'm going to the gym again. I got up um, 6.45. I just woke up. It seems to be the habit, waking up at 6.45 a.m. Anyway, so it took me this long. Uh, shaved my neck. Had laundry from yesterday. Uh, folded some of it. Made my coffee. Went over my... Went over my workout for today. You know, take into account my energy level. So, finished. Well, it was already finished, but sent off um, a note or a letter to a uh, job by someone.
just to keep the roots straight so I don't always have scalp to cut to, to cover up with uh, bobby pins. It seems to align all the uh, the roots. Hmm. I don't know, last night, um, I never know when my mood feels good or my energy feels good. I felt pretty good. And so I got, you know, the laundry done and some stuff. Um, I may have gone to bed around before 11, I think. Was it 10? So, um, and I seem to be catching, uh, keeping up with a lot of my organization, you know, like uh, putting things back where they belong, doing the dishes. Doing the dishes has been several months. I mean, that's kind of, it's getting solidified. But like passing the mop and all that, it's like nothing, I don't have the time for everything, you know? And things get rotated. So the goal is to be able to catch up on things and then be able to go to the next thing, right? And then some things come in, come in like this letter I had to write to for the equipment moving job, which I don't know if I'll get. I, I just had to write it and then send it, mull it over a bit and then send it. Like those things kind of interfere, but that's part of what things need to be done anyways. You know, taking the time to shave the neck. Um, so I never know if I'm like catching up on everything. It's like my floors are completely dirty. I think more things are organized. I have here, um, I'm going to go to Goodwill. That was closed from shirts I had uh, gotten rid of when I had that big pile of shirts on my countertop. So another thing I kind of noticed is that I've gotten into the good habit of putting my glasses in their case. Well, the sunglasses, I bring my case with me, but I do put the glasses on, on my head um, to save some time. Sometimes it, get, it gets caught in my hair. But at home with my glasses, um, to avoid breaking the glasses to keep them as you know, long lasting as I can, because I only have one pair left, I buy a few at a time from clearly.ca, which is better than the pharmacy. <laughs> but, um, and I wouldn't buy hyper expensive glasses until I, you know, learn how to take care of them as much as possible. Some people bring them for repair. Like if you go to a, a real eyeglass place and you, you get them to repair them, I guess. Um, the only store, physical store for this clearly.ca is in Ottawa and I haven't gone yet. I thought they were gonna open one up in here and where I'm at, but not yet. Not that I know of. Anyways, so. Um, yeah, so far so good. Like I'll put them in the glass case and I'll sleep with the glass case next to me. So that's good. There was only one time that I kind of was out of it and they were next to me. But that's a lot better than always sleeping with them next to me and then one day lying on top of them and they're broken you know they're gonna get broken anyways i think they dropped once or twice and you know the point is to kind of stretch it you know and uh over time i'll get better now those little things mean a lot to me because all these little habits make my life simpler and I also feel like I'm, you know, growing, you know, that, doing my dishes. My laundry has been down pat for a few years now. So that's good. Um, there's only 24 hours in a day. There's only a 
certain amount of energy I have. Oh, that's what I remembered. Because I didn't do as much yesterday, the goal is to kind of have energy after the workout, you know? So I guess you could say I'm on a deload or, I don't know, I'm going every day. Um, but to make it so that I can do other stuff afterwards. And that's difficult. It's really difficult to pull back like that and to keep moving forward. So it's 11.47 and I just left the gym. Um, I did some cardio, but I was listening to one of my vlog the vlogs so I can find a good title while I was biking. So, you know, I, it, the time passed faster, but I wasn't putting in, like concentrating on it, which is fine because I mean, I'm out of it right now. Um, and I did some hamstrings and then I did the pec deck, but it didn't go well. I spent most of my time just going through my book, trying to figure out where I was at, you know? So I didn't do that much, but I think, cause I was trying to find all my older PRs and write them down in notes, you know, just catch up with all that. And uh, it doesn't really matter because today it was supposed to be <laughs> kind of an off day if I'm completely out of it, you know what I mean? So, you know, there's that. Uh, so then to add insult to injury, while I'm hungry, I'm just gonna go pick up, I might pick up that tomato pizza. I feel like that. Um, and I get a call and they actually leave a voice message this time, but it's like when I was teaching CPR, to a certain clientele and you get like um, older ladies who are really not tech savvy and they don't know how to you know retrieve documents when they need like they don't they don't you know it's for the orderly position okay um, the you know in the, in, the, in the health industry I mean there's a lot of um, documenting and stuff like that, but people do not do it um, personally. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, a lot of it's documentation on paper because there's a lot of older people uh, who, who are not, who have not, uh, who are scared of computers, like the basics. Um, so anyway, so she called and left a voice message, but she didn't leave her name, she didn't leave anything. It's like, there's a lot of things that are just like missing. And I'm like, am I even gonna answer her? I have no idea. I have a vague idea, but there's just so many people who had that, who fit that description, you know? Someone who calls like a year or two later and tried to find their certificate. And it's like, you know? Um, but I had the same problem with my, you know, taxes, contacting my old accountant. So I, I empathize with it, but, you know. So anyway, so I just found the um, text that I usually write people how to find it. She, and hopefully she can read her text, you know. Um... I don't think I'm gonna call her and say, go check your text or talk to her because I don't owe her that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, that's kind of it. So as you see, I just got myself some watermelon. I finished the uh, tomato pizza, which I got from another store. And then I had a hankering for watermelon, but I didn't want to buy a full. This was 5.03, I thought it was three something. And at the other store, a small watermelon, well, 
Yeah. Weighs about six ninety nine, so it's probably four of these. Well, I took it anyways. I know <laughs> these kids were being stopped for shoplifting. I'm like, oh. And then, of course, the um, at the self serve aisle, the woman, another woman, was like, "What's with your bag?" So I guess they're really trying to cut down on that. This that's the first time I've seen that in years. So I just sloppily ate that watermelon. It's a little on me, wet, wet spots, but anyways. Mm. I hit the spot though. Now I'm all bloated. But uh so now walking to the subway and the guy from this morning where I sent a text to regarding moving equipment job, fitness equipment job, he texted me back to call him when I have two minutes so that would be the next thing I do when I get home and decompress a bit and um, at around 3 so it's about 12.30 now so at around 3 I have to call uh, my former um, probation employer or whatever you want to call it uh, regarding uh, teaching CPR. All right, so I, I'm sweating. <laughs> I had to turn on the air conditioning, of course. Mission accomplished for the first thing. I called the guy while I was walking home from the subway uh, to move um, fitness equipment and a I guess he needed people. He's used to people not, not showing up. So uh, he said Wednesday and Thursday. He's going to confirm. But it's just a, where I was in the subway. So I just have to go back there. And I have to be there for nine. Um, well, I'm going to wait for his text. In two days. Um, it's not much time to eat or whatever. So I have to plan all that stuff. So at least... There's a bite for something, you know what I mean? Um, I don't know how sore I'm going to be. He asked me how much I weigh, asked me how tall I am, and all that stuff. All right. Um, so, 